So today I'm going to teach you how to groom a horse. So first you're going to need your curry comb. Mine just has little black points. So you're just going to uh, put that on the horse's back in circular motions. Do not use it on the face and that's just to get all the mud and dust out from the inner of the coat so that it rises to the top of the coat. So next I've got my dandy brush. Use the dandy brush after the curry comb to get all the mud and dust out. A dandy brush has quite hard bristles and the way you groom is you groom in the direction of the horse's hair. So next I've got my soft brush or body brush, whatever you want to call it. And uh, it's basically like the dandy brush, just the bristles are a lot softer. And it basically gets rid of tiny specks of dust, whatever. And it just gives the coat that extra shine. So next I'm going to use my face brush. It's basically just a smaller version of a body brush or a soft brush, whatever you want to call it and you just groom this on the horse's face to get all the little hairs out you see Polo doesn't like it too much because he was eating his hay but that just takes the dust out of the face so next I'm just going to use my hoof pick you use this on the horse's hooves obviously and this is just to get all the mud out of the hooves sorry it's it's quite hard to see it was really hard to film this so so you can't see me doing this, but to get the hoof, you want to slide your hand down their leg so that they know that your hand is coming down. And they will probably have been taught to lift their leg up, so Polo has. And then to hold, you just want to put your hand under the hoof, and if it's a bit heavy, just rest it in between your knees. So to pick out the back hooves, it's basically the same. See, Polo has been taught to lift his leg up, so you just slide your hand down. Do, don't go behind the horns, go on their side. And to hold up the leg, put it between your knees or just lift it with your hand. One thing to remember is that when you're picking the hooves, there is a little triangular thing which I'm trying to show you. And that's the frog, and do not pick the, that because that will hurt the horse a lot, so pick around it. So that's the end of the video, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it helped. Uh, sorry I forgot to film me doing the mane and tail, but for the mane and tail you just use a mane and tail brush. Uh, thank you for Nina for filming and thank you to Polo for being in the video and helping me out, links in the description. Bye!